Welcome to Genoa, a beautiful port city in the north of Italy. It's a very vertical city, built on a lot of hills. So many hills, in fact, that the city has several funicular railways and elevators tunnelled through the rock. Shortcuts that get around miles of twisty, congested roads or thousands of stairs. And the strangest one of these is the Ascensore Castello d'Albertis Montegaletto, or the castle elevator. Years ago, you'd have to walk through 300 metres of tunnel yourself to reach the lift, but now, if you start at the bottom, an odd little square box comes to pick you up. It looks a bit like a regular elevator car, only going horizontally. You get on, it takes you to 300 metres through the rock, past some control equipment, and then, after a bit of shunting around with another box that's headed the other way, it goes vertically, right up to the castle at the top of the hill. Now, you might think, it's a great idea in theory, it's like a Star Trek turbo lift, but surely that's dangerous, and I say that wearing a red shirt. Elevators need to have all sorts of protection systems, so one bad cable can't snap and cause disaster. How can they possibly make one that has all that protection when it's got to detach itself and move off? Well, the answer is they can't, because that's not what it's doing. And in hindsight, the solution is kind of obvious. There are two separate systems here. It's the same hack that Disney use for the Tower of Terror at their theme parks. The bit that the passengers get into can only go horizontally, on its own. It attaches to a cable that pulls it along. When it reaches the lift shaft, it's actually getting into another, bigger elevator. It attaches itself firmly to that, and then it gets hoisted up and down in safety, as if it were a regular passenger elevator. It's a brilliant bit of engineering, and it's also people don't have to walk 300 metres to a regular lift.